Hello everybody, welcome back. Tinker77 here. Hope you're having a good day. Today we're going to do a tutorial. Um, this is based on a, a question that I received in the comments. The question being that um, how do you put this all together, the item sorter and the item filter? Because the person asked a question about a farm where it has some items that they just wanted to get rid of. And so what I did was I created this, uh, what we're going to do a tutorial on. Uh, the basis of this is uh, I was thinking what kind of farm has some things that you don't want and the typical one I see a lot of is the iron farm when you iron iron golems die they drop iron bars and they also drop poppies so what I've designed here is just a quick little system that filters out the iron bars but lets the poppies be destroyed so when you put an item in this chest what happens here is that it goes down through here if it can this is the filter portion for the iron bars and if the can't go through here which would be the poppy it would go down this other line so this filters out all the iron bars okay and then it poppies go down here now I've been doing some testing on this so let me just blow this away here because we don't need it so you can see that it works ah, okay well we got 38 iron on us now so what happens if we put these in here and 16 poppies the iron will filter down through but the poppies will go over and into this dropper, which will be firing out all of the poppies. So it should start in just a second. And uh, that's how it works. It's got a filter and a disposal. So you can filter out the items you want, dispose of those that you don't want. Now, obviously, you can cover this up so it won't shoot all the way out, but you get the idea. And so in here, we have our 38 iron. This works great. So now I'm going to do the tutorial on how to build it. Okay, for the first part, you're going to start with a block. This is where the lava will sit on. So what you want to do is you want to make a, like a little uh, container for it. Just surround it, just like that. And you can put the lava in if you want. And then I like to make sure I get the lava out of my inventory so that I don't uh, accidentally use it. And then what you're going to have is a dropper. Now, I put up another wall around it, and you could also put one on top so you kind of help to close it. But that's the idea of that. Okay, now, on behind here... You want to put a 3x3 three three area, and then a block beside the dropper, okay? You put a repeater going into that, and I'll show you why in a second. You have a comparator going out, and a repeater. Comparator will have just a signal strength of 1, the repeater, in essence, um, gives it more power. And then you want to put redstone on all of these locations. This is the same uh, dropper firing circuit that we've d used everywhere else. It works really, really well. Okay, so then what we're going to do is we're going to go and put hoppers on top. Put one, two, and then I believe, let me see, I did it right, yeah, four total, just making sure. So you go four across, okay, and that's what's going on. So right now, if you put a chest on here, which we're going to do, everything would just go out and be disposed of, and you can test that circuit out. Let's get a couple items here. Uh, polished diorite. We put it in here, it'll go through the hopper chain. And there's our four items. Okay. So now what we need to do is we need to make the item, um, uh, what you call it, the item filter. Yeah. Okay. So I'm going to put it right over here. Okay. It's going to be underneath this line. So I'm going to put, uh, let's see, two blocks here. You see how I did that? I went over. This is like a floor that you would have normally or whatever. And I'm going to put the chest. That's the chest where the uh, iron will go into. So now we put on a hopper, which puts that in there. Now what you want to do is, I do this a temporary block above the chest, and then a hopper pointing into that block, and then I get rid of the block. And this is where the filter part happens, okay? So now we're going to build the filter mechanism. So on the, against this lower hopper, I go out three blocks, okay? And then underneath that I go three more blocks. You see I offset it by one, and I put one underneath and then get rid of that center. So if a pattern, it looks like that. Okay, so now, comparator. The comparator will tell the signal strength based on how, how many or what are in there. You put three redstone, you put a repeater facing this way, and you put a torch underneath. And what that does is it, it, it um, you see my filter video, you can you can look that up. But in essence, it's locking the, the filter, the, uh, the hopper so it can't put any items through. Now what we got to do, and let me grab my inventory here, is you put in some sort of block that you don't care about or can't 
won't ever hit this hopper ever. Um, I like to rename something using an anvil, and these are renamed leave a like. So if you like this video, leave a like. And then I figure out what the item is. Now, typically, this would be, as an example, iron. So if we go and get the iron ba uh, bars, iron ingots, and I put them in, if you put a whole stack, it will go down until it gets to 41. So here it goes, almost down, and it will stop. And that's because of the way the signal strength works with the comparator. And then what happens is, is that there's actually one usually in here, which would be 42, and you have 22 left, which is 64. Okay? So now I'm just going to take those out so we can test. So now, if we put those into the chest, we should not hear anything happening over here. And you see nothing is. But you can see that in here, the items came in. Now what about if we put something else in there? Let's just start throwing stuff in here. This stuff should then get destroyed. Let's see? None of that is showing up in our chest. So what I've done here is I've combined two of the different tutorials that I've done. One is the item filter in this portion. And one is the item disposal. So whatever your output from your farm is, whether it's an iron farm or you make a, I don't know, any other farm, wheat farms or whatever, but there might be something in there that you don't want. Or maybe, you know, you kill a monster and it gets sucked into your, um, its items get sucked into your hopper chain and you want to filter that out. Basically, this is the way you do it. You filter what you want, throw away what you don't. And that's all there is to it. I sure hope you like this video. I kind of rambled a little bit, but it was uh, pretty easy to put the two different ideas together. Thanks for joining me today. I am Tinker77. If you like this video, please leave a like. If you have any comments, put them in the comment section. And of course, if you'd like to subscribe to this channel, I would really appreciate it. Also, leave uh, tell anybody you know about this uh, channel. That'd be great. Hopefully, they'll get some value out of it. So thanks again. Have a great day. Bye-bye.